It's a path that isn't easy. Steep steps, a rocky incline, a trail lined with memories on a journey that continues. Two years ago, I was climbing over there. Can't really see it, but on the other side of that rock right there. That's where life changed for mountain climber Bryce Evans. I ended up falling nearly 100 feet, uh, landing on my head. I uh, tore up in my leg, my chest, but mostly the damage was in my head. He spent three months at Swedish Medical Center. I don't remember the first month after the fall. Most of that because of his head injury. During the fall, he had uh, pretty significant skull fractures. Um, and his brain got shaken around quite a bit. So shaken, his brain began to swell uncontrollably, according to a surgeon, Dr. Peter Sire. Essentially, we took a very large piece of his skull off um, to let the brain swell out. I just didn't really didn't want to be paralyzed anymore, so I started working. Working to rebuild his strength. And I just felt like I was ready for it, and you know, I had to keep pushing myself. All right, climbing. Climb on. I got discharged and immediately went back to rock climbing. Within a year, he was climbing more difficult routes than before. It's something, you know, that you love to do and you can't stop. If I stopped climbing, then I might as well have just not survived the fall. But the challenge, climbing a rock close to where he fell two years ago. As soon as I touched the wall, then instincts took over and I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just climbing. He says every move he makes is focused, the climb and communication. We'll make it up here. Mindful of what happened last time while not letting it hold him back. I have no regrets. Uh -huh. uh, the fall was an accident. It wasn't anybody's fault. I'm not going to blame it on anybody. It was just miscommunication. It's it's phenomenal, actually. Yeah, I, um, you know, he was obviously a kid that had a lot of drive, um, and that helps quite a bit in recovery. Um, but I never expected him to, you know, go so far as to return to kind of full activity with rock climbing and stuff. Bryce never questioned returning to climbing, just how long it take him to get back. If you're going to put your life on hold after something bad happens, then uh, what was the point of getting through the through the hard times? Like, you know, I, I consider climbing the reward. <laughs> with photojournalist Austin Knox. All right, I'm at the top. I'm Eddie Randall, 9 News.